An entire Peapod test from start to finish takes approximately five minutes. To ensure accurate results, it is very important that infants are tested nude and that they have their hair flattened with baby oil prior to beginning the test. For the same reason, infants with curly or large amounts of hair should wear a cap provided by life measurement during the body composition test to compress their hair. The Peapod test process begins with a two-minute automatic volume calibration. During this calibration period, other portions of the test are performed, with screen prompts guiding the operator through each step of the test sequence. While the volume calibration is underway, basic infant information is typed into the software program or retrieved from the software if the infant has been tested previously. Next, the infant's mass is measured using the Peapod scale. This measurement usually lasts between 6 and 20 seconds, depending on the infant's movement. Once the data entry and mass measurement steps are completed, the two-minute volume calibration has normally concluded. At this point, the infant is placed in the Peapod test chamber tray for the two-minute volume measurement. During the entire volume measurement period, the infant is clearly visible at all times through the acrylic window. At the conclusion of the volume measurement, the door to the Peapod chamber automatically opens, indicating the infant can be removed from the test chamber tray. In the meantime, the body composition test results are displayed on the computer screen and saved in the computer. Test results can then be printed, as well as custom reports generated and printed based on specifically selected parameters. And remember, if for any reason a Peapod test is interrupted, the procedure can be repeated as often as necessary because it's fast and non-invasive. The Peapod presents a new opportunity for tracking infant body composition changes over time in a format that can easily be viewed, printed, and analyzed. This includes monitoring longitudinal changes in body composition and displaying them in a graphical format, similar to a growth chart. Researchers and clinicians now have the vital tool necessary to assist in the assessment of infant growth and nutritional status, especially in preterm infants. They also have the essential body composition data necessary to help understand the infant growth process and the factors that alter it, such as undernutrition, overnutrition, and disease.